Hi, and welcome to this Hasselblad X2D Spotlight. I'm Mark Whitney, Hasselblad's Photographer Relations Manager. And I'm joined here today by my colleague, Chris Coos, who's Hasselblad's Global Technical Communications Manager. So today we're going to have a quick look at the new Hasselblad X2D camera, a uh, top level uh, overview. Uh, so Chris, tell us about the new X2D. So obviously the, the big change from previous models is the new 100 megapixel sensor. Okay. Uh, so with a back side illuminated design, uh, that gives us uh, a much reduced noise level, uh, the 15 stops dynamic range, uh, and obviously being a Hasselblad camera, we also have full integration of Hasselblad's natural color solution. Okay, so the focusing, the sensor also supports phase detect focus, is that right? Correct, and um, basically we've implemented it with 294 focusing zones across the surface of the sensor. Okay, and another big update is that of image stabilization. Yes, big update. So Hasselblad has uh, implemented image, uh, image stabilization for the first time in one of its cameras. Uh, we couldn't find one that would fit the camera size, so we had to make our own. And so okay. the unit we've designed delivers up to seven stops of image stabilization. Okay, wow. And the storage options, so some changes there, I understand. Yeah, so rather than the conventional two-slot design, we've gone for a one terabyte internal SSD. Okay. And that delivers obviously much faster read-write times, which enables us to then deliver the high shooting speeds for the camera. Okay, and card slot is? Yeah, so we have a single CF Express Type B card slot. Okay, and um, I can see one of the visual differences here on the top is this, this uh, shoulder display, is that right? Yeah, so our one inch shoulder display, that will enable you to see what shooting mode you're in, basic shooting parameters, battery charge, level, etc. Okay, and the viewfinder, any changes there? Yeah, so we've upgraded that from the previous model to a 5.76 megapixel, uh, half inch OLED uh, EVF. Okay, and playing with the camera earlier, I noticed the screen now tilts as well. Yeah, back. so we've taken the original 3.6 inch display from the X1D Mark II, and we've added a, a tilt device, which basically allows you to tilt it up to 70 degrees. Okay, um, so what about the user interface? That's always been very well received with the previous X cameras. Um, is, is it much the same on this camera? Yeah, we've tried to keep it as, as similar as possible to the previous uh, menu systems. So the icon based system is still there. We've just improved the legibility so it's easier to read in low, uh, bright light conditions. Okay, and in terms of connectivity, so we've got Focus Mobile 2 is yeah. our app for mobile devices. Um, so I, I assume full connectivity with that still? Yeah, so we've taken the 2.4 and five gigahertz connections that we had before into for wireless. Okay. Uh, and we've added in a Wi-Fi 6 option for those that have got the uh, obviously relevant hardware to connect to and that delivers much, much faster transfer speeds. Okay, um, so I think that's pretty much it for the camera, but the eagle-eyed amongst us would notice some new lenses on the table here as well. <laughs> so we've got the XCD38, the 55, and a new 90. Yep. Uh, so what's, what's new with these lenses? So we've redesigned the, the XCD lens body. Uh, so you've got this all-metal outer body design. Uh, we have a push-pull manual focus, autofocus changeover ring. Additionally, we have a control ring, which you can configure to various functions. Internally, all the lenses have an upgraded uh, focusing module, uh, which will deliver much faster focusing speeds, uh, continuing Hasselblad's high optical quality. Okay, of course. Um, so these are being announced at the same time as the X2D. Does that mean they only work on the X2D camera? No, they're fully compatible with the previous models, X1D, X1D Mark II, and obviously 907X. Okay, great. Okay, so let's look at the actual form factor of the camera. So it looks very similar to the X1D II. Yep. Um, is it the same, roughly the, si the same size and weight? Yeah, obviously we've tried to keep that sort of design concept the same as the previous two models. Okay. Uh, but obviously we've squeezed quite a lot of additional hardware inside this one. Yeah. So it's a few millimeters taller and a few millimeters thicker. But obviously we've got uh, the rear display tilting mechanism which has added that. Okay. In terms of weight, yes, it's slightly heavier. Uh, not an awful lot to be brutally honest, but again, we've had to put the IBIS unit, et cetera, in there. Okay, but it's still a very portable unit very, for very medium much so. format. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. In terms of, you know, you've been through the specification, yeah. but in terms of the real world benefits yeah. for photographers that are shooting with this in the field, um, so, you know, what, what are those benefits? So, obviously, the higher resolution means that you can uh, capture those fine, fine details. Okay. Uh, the better ISO performance means that you can use the camera in a much wider range of conditions uh, and still not have high noise levels. Uh, additionally, the dynamic range obviously helps enormously in capturing a, a sort of HDR effect type shots. Yep. Um, the focus. The, yeah, I mean, phase detect also focus means that you can capture, you know, moving subjects uh, or difficult subjects 
are more easily focused on very quickly. Let's put it that way. Okay. And what about the real world benefits for the image stabilization? Well, that just means you, you know, opens up a wider window of shooting opportunities. So if the light levels are low, you can still keep to that uh, low ISO if you wish. And more importantly, slower shutter speeds and still ensure a sharp result. Yeah, so less requirement for a tripod, I Yeah, very saying, much yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, and in terms of general usability, um, obviously you've got the convenience of the extra screen and the, um, the internal storage. So I guess that's just yeah a general convenience. For yeah, the, the, the camera is just much slicker, quicker to operate. Uh, in terms of the functions are still as easily accessible as they always were. Hmm. Okay, so I think that's a great overview of the new Hasselblad X2D camera. If you'd like more information on Hasselblad products, obviously you can go to our website at Hasselblad.com. You can subscribe to our newsletters and also follow us on our social media accounts. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.